What's up guys, Shock the Nation. Uh, I'm gonna do a little camper review today of Sam Gore's camper. He's got this Sunray Sport 109 uh, that I know he really enjoys. He does a lot of overland things and, uh, in it. And you know, if you're interested in more of a minimalist type review, uh, this will be probably right up your alley. You can see me rocking on my crutch there trying to take the video. Anyway, so I'm gonna let Sam uh, talk about his camper for a little bit and I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Good and it uh, has the front. It makes it nice, and you can get inside of it. You, know. um, you can pull it with any vehicle, and it'll go down most of the trails you want to go. So you can get places that you'd normally have to take just a tent and like a SUV yeah, kind of sub overlanding kind of vibe. To be able to get get in deeper than you can normally with a trailer, but it track the ground clearance is decent and it it's pretty light. Uh, all it has is a water tank and air conditioner, heater. It holds every every spare part and tool and wrench you need underneath the bed, and then that folds up into a couch. But it's got a got a full bed. I guess our mirror fell, but the awning comes out, which is nice. It wraps around the whole thing, so you can stay cool or dry. The heat and AC work very good because it's so small. It's like the minute you turn them on, it's like either hot or cold, whatever you want. A little more space inside would also be nice, but it's like the bigger it slightly gets, the harder it gets down trails. Like we're already taking through mud holes and creeks and stuff, and with the front on on it and the bikes on there and stuff, it's long enough that we end up having like a two or three point turn to make it around, fit it around trees or stumps. But uh, the axle being as far back as it is, it's a decent amount of tongue weight, so you have to just equip your vehicle. But like. Uh, airbags in the coil springs to keep your ass from sinking so much. So. I pulled it down here with this truck, but I normally just pull it with a Jeep or a Forerunner. Yeah, it squats the Jeep. That's I need to put bags on it, but it, it pulls it fine. It, it's only like 16, 1700 pounds dry, so it's and it only holds like 15 gallons of water, so it's it's sub 2000 pounds. So you can, I've seen people. Especially the ones with, they don't all come with the front deal. The short, the, just the basic one, they'll pull them with like anything. 